the way. Keep your arms going. Keep your arms going. It's time for Ruel. Hello. Hello. And I will start off by telling you something that happened during my day. So today, I woke up and found a poo in my bra. But this isn't it. <laughs> um, in light of these events, I wrote a poem. <laughs> Old Blue by Real Gomez. I always knew we'd go far, me and my raggedy bra, with holes, rips and massive tears that sometimes got caught in my underarm hairs. It's winter, I don't shave! Spring, I feel sorry for my razor blades. But it's time I laid Old Blue to rest and wiped the shit from my chest. <laughs> my old Real Gomez in secondary school, I got kicked out of the boys' toilets for looking like a boy, the girls' toilets. <laughs> But this was before I grew these things. Double D's. <laughs> Why would you get mistaken for a guy when I was a kid? Like the other day, I got a contract to sign from a job, and at the top in big bold letters it said Mr. Real Gomez. Now, I wouldn't have minded if it wasn't for the simple fact that I've been working there for five months. They have met me. <laughs> Sorry ladies, I'm not a vegetarian. Doesn't mean I wouldn't take a dip in your fishy pond. <laughs> Talking about fishy ponds, when I was a kid I had an imaginary friend called Raymond. He was 65 or 70 and he wore these thick rimmed glasses. He used to like to watch me wee. Apparently my real friend could see him too. <laughs> Anyways, even if I was a lesbian, I couldn't do anything because I told one of these bloke things that I was committed and we've been talking baby names. Now I'm a bit petrified of pregnancy and childbirth due to the children and the weight gain. Because I found these groups on Facebook all about a woman's gap in her thighs. And on these groups are guys engaging in what they like to call banter. Now this art form has changed since I was a kid. Because when I was younger, it was, if I remember rightly, Alright, no baby, how's it going? Oh, fuck your mum! It is, it was not what it is now, and if this is word for word, I'm going to come over there and smash your fucking face in with a fucking chair, you cunt! <laughs> no, I don't want my kid growing up in a world like that. And that was on a Guernsey Facebook group, and I was brought up in Guernsey. <laughs> Weird place. First time I went around my, my mate's house, I was 10 or 11, and her mum offered me a drink. Now we'd just been on our bikes and I was quite thirsty so I said yes. So she gave me a glass of water. I took the first sip before realising that this woman gave a 10 or 11 year old a pint of vodka. <laughs> Keep in mind that this is the same house whose dad is the granddad and father of one of the kids. The son took a very unorthodox liking to wooden rolling pins, if you know what I mean. And I saw the mum's glass eye fall into a cup of tea. And I wonder why I was rejected for advertising for the Guernsey Tourism Board. But you tried growing up in a place where the fastest you could go was 30 miles per hour. You were the fluffy haired ginger girl who looked like a man. And the only way you could comfy was to buy fast food from a place called Mankey's and not come out with some sort of mental health issue. <laughs> <laughs> I need an unusual or strange name if I have, uh, have children because my name's Ruel and you wouldn't expect my child to be Baby Ian. Imagine a Baby Ian. You don't see many of them these days. But me and my boyfriend Andy have been looking into strange and unusual names on the internet and we found that some couples um, like kind of mix their names up to form something brand new. So we tried this and we came up with Rudy, are you from my name, and DY from his, and AN from his, and AL from mine. <laughs> what a bummer! Hey! <laughs> well, after that vigorous <laughs> diaphragm workout, we need to cool down. So, to finish you guys and girls off, ignore what I said at the start, I'm not picky, I've written you a poem. A Sweat is the Reservoir by Real Gomez. The reservoir is wide and vast. You're behind me moving fast. I look out at the birds so near. My mind goes blank. Things are clear. Problems fade just like a ghost. Then you whisper, God, I'm close. I roll my eyes, I fake a moan. You finish quick before I've known. I wait a while, then flop down. You pick your clothes up off the ground. Then you turn and look at me as I discreetly flick my bean. Thank you! Ladies and gentlemen, Ruel Gomez has just performed her second ever girl at stand-up comedy.